it's kind of funny where I ended up recording this video, just kind of sitting out on the fucking main road, like, on the side of a convenience store. It kind of reminds me of the time of my life, like, when this story happened, because uh, <laughs> um, I wasn't really, I wasn't ever homeless for more than, like, a couple nights, but uh, I spent a lot of time roaming the streets and fucking finding shade and places like these with uh, some pretty unsavory people. Uh, but I had a roommate, one of my roommates, the second time in rehab. <clears throat> he, he jumped off like a 40, 50, 60 foot tower of some kind. I don't remember exactly how high it was. Um, broke damn near every bone in his body, trying to commit suicide, but survived. Uh, the time that by the time he had gotten to the rehab that I was at he was he had been in physical therapy for like nine months to a year or maybe even longer like I don't it was a long time ago it was almost it was like nine years ago so I don't remember all the details but you know and he and his he had the, his underlying problem was drugs obviously which is why I ended up in a drug rehab but um, everything, it's, and it's hard to keep in mind sometimes, um, you kind of get blinded by your own, you get blinded by the lens that you see your own life through, but everything's relative, like, I forgot about that dude, and, uh, sometimes I remember him. Uh, it, when when things get a little bit dark and um, I always wondered how how he ended up like how things ended up for him because I ended up leaving um, like com completed the program and ended up back there pretty quickly and he wasn't there when I got back I don't think um, but goddamn, I can't imagine what, a, how, like, what his road to recovery was like, um, you know, how it went, whether he made it, whether he's still alive, I mean, that's, you know, you never know, uh, so people, people die, the, the, the you know, when they get out of rehab all the time, people that go back out, so, yeah, everything's relative. It's hard to keep that in mind. There's a kind of an, I don't know if you call it on, on call them an alternative rapper. Talib Kweli came out with a Facebook post one time. Facebook was a little bit different back then, but saying that he was glad that all his problems were first first world problems. <coughs> and he said something about perspective. Um, gratitude is hard sometimes. And I guess that's why I'm making this video. Um, and I think sometimes you need to accept that there's you can have a victory sometimes the victory is just surviving and preventing yourself from going any farther backward than you've already gone uh, you can't always make progress sometimes you slip sometimes you go backwards but uh Sometimes you have to give yourself a pat on the back for hopefully preventing yourself, getting the brakes on soon enough and preventing yourself from going even farther backwards than you would have gone if you didn't. And uh, with that, I hope, uh, hope this video helps somebody and I hope you have a beautiful day.